Well, welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal with True Flight Gaming. That's me. Hope you're enjoying yourselves and doing okay. Staying safe, staying inside. Hopefully, we'll get over this shortly and we can get back to our daily life. But right now, let's get back into it, guys, with another episode of Persona 5 Royal. So last time we left off we learned a few things about the main character and what's going to happen. So this time we've just uh, started to go to school. Uh, this is our first day and uh, we're on the train at the moment and apparently uh, a lot of people are talking about accidents. We'll get more into that later. First, let's get into the main character here. So here we are, we've got the new kind of way that they're doing things. They've added in quite a few new things. I've been playing it for a while, so uh, I've got quite a bit recorded, so we can pretty much start going from A to B soon. Right, so we have to go to Sajiro's house. Uh, he's the guy that's going to be taking care of us. If you use the rotating, you can move around. This is just telling us how we can move the camera, and I think it's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure you can pick that sort of stuff up. So it's pretty self explanatory. And here it's telling us you can use the expert to talk to people. Right, let's go. What was that? I want to ask for directions. You want to get to the residence at that address? Is the alley a bit further back? Take the right after the apartment. So we need to go here, just at the end. As you can see, it's kind of a red mark, but I'm going to show you around a little bit first. This is where we need to go, this bit here, but we're not going to go there straight away. I'm actually going to show you exactly where we need to go and some of the other places. Like this would be going out of the to the station or something, and then you've got a few other alleys. Like this one is L LeBlanc. This is where we're going to be going after we've t m done the uh, cutscene there, guys. So what we need to do is go to the end and then turn right. Let's ring the doorbell. The nameplate here says Sakura. It looks like this might be Sokujiro Sakura's home. Let's ring the bell. Eat. 
even after ringing the doorbell, doesn't look like anyone will answer the door. Maybe he's gone out. Looks like no one's home. Oh yeah, Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, LeBlanc's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Next, I need to take this package to... Right, so the delivery man has just told us that we need to go to the cafe. I've just shown you where it is. So this is where we need to go, down towards this alley here. And then we can go in here. Frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is um, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, right. They did say that was today. Oh, we'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. None of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Uh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? <laughs> Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other. Well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for you. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then, I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. So there you go guys, we've got to go to school tomorrow, so let's clean up. Let's clean up, let's check out this box. This is where we're going to get extras or DLC. Uh, later on we can just click the box and get it from there. But first we need to clean up and find a place for it. So let's just clean the room. First we've got to click on a few things to get it started to see what's around the room. Start cleaning. You 
There we go, it's late. It seems like I've been cleaning for hours. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. There we go, it's just some more advice about the time schedule. That's something we'll go over at some point. Let's go change our clothes and go to sleep, shall we? Arrest trial, criminal, criminal record. Still, I couldn't just let it go. That day. I ended up going home late. Just get in the car. I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they're just up ahead. How dare you cross me. No, don't give me that shit. It looks like that drunk man is trying to do something to that woman. She's in danger, I should go help. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble? I'll call the police. Call them if you want. The police are my... They're not going to take you seriously. Stop. Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car. Incompetent fools like you should just shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Remember that fix for later. What you're looking at get out of my face this ain't a show get lost kid see this is all because you're so damn so get in the car it's that weird app again somehow it ended up on my phone the icon looks almost like an eye I thought I deleted it. There we go. My lids are starting to get heavy. Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by... Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have...
have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world. You didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justine. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep! I had a strange dream. Rune, rehabilitation, what does it mean? Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Ayami district. It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfer are a real hassle too. I'll drive you there, but just for today, let's go. Sheesh, men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Do me a favour and behave yourself alright? Don't get me wrong, I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you do anything. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability, but we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadaya Kawaki. Here's your student ID. Kawakaki. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by any chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise. Yes, Principal Kobayaka. They have some long names. He is responsible for all, all things himself. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer and your class was the only one that had a spare seat. If you're done explaining things, then I need to go. I've got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about this situation he's in. Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out, got it? I'll be careful. Hmm. School never changes, huh? Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. 
I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would have been better suited for it. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough for that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Alright, the tournament's coming up, isn't it? He... Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Traffic's not moving at all. Traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So how was it? The school? I mean, you think you can manage? It seems fun. Do you even understand what you're getting into? Still, you were expelled once already to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic towards you. If that's what it was like at school, people might say stuff about me in the future too. What troublesome kid I've taken in. Why did you take me in? I was asked to do it, and I just happened to get agree to it. I've already been paid for it too, after all. And now back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Another accident? So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have gotten, got to be just all tra traffic around Shibu Station is being re redirected due to the accident, so you won't be able to get that way. Come on. Evening. from the accident. According to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. The site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hobble the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? 
SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh, well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting. And that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man. I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people suddenly. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. Damn, to think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. What up? Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Here's a diary. Make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation. But there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you. Which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Huh? Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up, so do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. Better head off to bed, all right? I should do as I'm told for now. I should write down what happened today in my diary. Saving and basically putting in a diary. Uh, pretty much the same thing. He writes it down automatically, so you don't actually have to write anything down. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that second episode. I'm going to get more into it in the next couple of episodes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next.